Hi guys, back again. I have to read to you. Uh, an article, an essay, that our beloved Pope Peter, formerly known as Benedict the Sixteenth, wrote. I'll tell you the source after I've read to you. This is what he has to say. It's all about music. In many forms of religion, music is associated with frenzy and ecstasy, the free expansion of human existence toward which man's own hunger for the infinite is directed, is supposed to be achieved through sacred delirium induced by frenzied instrumental rhythms. Such music lowers the barriers of individuality and personality, and in it man liberates himself from the burden of consciousness. Music becomes ecstasy, liberation from the ego, amalgamation with the universe. Today we experience the secularized variation of this type in rock and pop music, whose festivals are an anti-cult with the same tendency, desire for destruction, repealing the limitations of the everyday, and the illusion of salvation in liberation from the ego in the wild ecstasy of a tumultuous crowd. These are measures which involve a form of release related to that achieved through drugs. It is the complete antithesis of Christian faith in the redemption. In a way which we could not imagine 30 years ago, music has become the decisive vehicle of a counter-religion and thus calls for a parting of the ways. Since rock music seeks release through liberation from the personality and its responsibility, it can be on the one hand precisely classified among the anarchic ideas of freedom which today predominate more openly in the West than in the East. But that is precisely why rock music is so completely anti-ethical anti to the Christian concept of redemption and freedom. Indeed, its exact opposite. Hence, music of this type must be excluded from the church on principle, and not merely for aesthetic reasons or because of restorative crankiness or historical inflexibility. That was written by a beloved Pope Peter. Not only is he an intellectual, a humble intellectual, but he was absolutely spot on. That is the truth. He spoke the truth. And he has exactly spoken the heart of God that is father and mother regarding the place of music within not only the church, the creation. Now the source for that is it's a website called www.popebenedict16thfanclub.com. This link will be posted underneath this video. All go to them with everything that you know about what is happening to Benedict, alert them. This is the man of humble intelligence. And what has Yahweh always said about love? It is the highest form of intelligence. Our beloved Pope Peter II, formerly known as Benedict XVI, has a heart filled with love for all of God's creation. He is even willing to forgive the Antichrist beast. However, Yahweh is not. Let it go.